I'm here with real estate expert TJ Larson of My Town Home Realty. And TJ, you know how it is when somebody falls in love with what they think is their dream home, only to find out that there's something wrong with it. It's so disappointing. So you're going to tell us how to be a savvy consumer and sort of do a little pre-inspection yourself, right? Absolutely. Before you fall in love with the home, there are a few things that you can find out, is this a lemon or not? Okay. So the first thing that I really want to mention is we've got some rough soil here in the Carolinas. And in a perfect world, every single home would be perched way up at the top of the hill. We can't have that in every situation. But as you look at this property, we've got about an even grade here. What you want to try to avoid is a negative grade coming into the, into the property. So that would basically mean that water and runoff could come into your foundation. Colleen, one thing that I would like to, to show people is homeowners can certainly get distressed about the fact that they see cracks in, uh, in concrete. Mm -hmm. And there are certainly some cracks that you definitely want to avoid. Okay. Yeah. You know, one of the things is this crack that we see here right now mm -hmm. is actually made when they put this driveway together. Concrete has the ability to expand and contract, but it doesn't hold together very well when that happens. And so this is called an expansion joint. And believe it or not, it's a control crack. The driveway is supposed to crack along this line. Now let's just say that we're in a driveway situation and these are spaced too far apart. You may find a crack in that home that follows along the driveway. That may not be a reason that you should be too tremendously concerned that the driveway is about to fall apart. If that crack does not have what we call heave in it, where one plane is higher than the other plane, we probably don't have a settling issue. Uh, one particular thing that I look for is what's called step cracking. Step cracking, I'll just draw on my house here, <laughs> looks just like a step. And that should follow all the way up to the corner of the home. I should see a duplicate of this on the other side. What that would mean is that this ground at some point has settled or potentially the ground in the middle has heaved and that this corner is falling away from the home. Doesn't mean the corner of your house is going to fall off, but it certainly could cause some structural issues, could cause some trim issues also on the interior. Do they have gutters on the house? You don't want, again, you want to get that water as far away as you possibly can. You don't want the water to form a drip line around the home because here, especially in a two-story home like this, coming down on the foundation, all of that water has only two choices where, where it's going to go. It's either going to go away from the house or it's going to go towards it. And I suspect in this case, that at least 50% of that is going to go back towards my foundation. Gutters key. All right, so here we are in the, uh, in the master bath. This is another area where we can quickly and easily identify whether or not we have some plumbing issues. Now in this case, I happen to have travertine tile floors. Travertine is going to be very easy to crack if I have some structural problems underneath it or if I have some water leaking that may cause some wood rot and that area would allow it to soften up a little bit uh, and then you would see the crack. What we're looking for here is I want to see do I have soft wood? Really want to push on those areas. Okay. Another thing is let's say you don't have tile in this yeah, particular linoleum. area. Linoleum yeah. floor. Linoleum is built on top of some type of a substrate and usually it's going to be a plywood or an OSB. Very susceptible to water. That's why we put linoleum on top of it. If the water gets under here and then gets underneath into the, into the OSB, it's going to get very soft and mushy, like a piece of wet cardboard. So you can feel that just by by stepping on it? Stepping on it. Weight on it. If you're 220 pounds like me, it's a lot easier. I can really push through. If you're 105 pounds like me, you're never going to feel it. you got to bring me in order to step on that. This is all stuff I would never think to look for and didn't when I bought my house. Go to TJ Larson's website, mytownhome.com. As always, great information. Thank Next you. time I ever go house shopping, I'm bringing you with me. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I am for sure. Check out the website, mytownhome.com. Gosh, TJ is such great information. Thank you so much, TJ. Every week he answers our questions about real estate. Next week he's answering yours. He can answer any question you might have about real estate from buying a home to selling, financing, contracts. What do you want to know? Email him at tj at mytownhome.com. tj at mytownhome.com. He's happy to answer your questions. Very, very smart guy. TJ, thank you so much.